quite significant drop in support that you mentioned. United Rush to the pro Kremlin party are still comfortably on track to maintain a very strong majority in the parliament. And if we think about that as in how the Kremlin views elections, they view them as a necessary evil. They need to get enough support to make sure that United Russia keeps its majority, while also allowing people and voters to feel like they can blow off some steam and feel like their vote counts. And so even with that 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 disapproval, like you say, linked to living standards, they've still been able to deliver a majority. Of course, it required a lot, a very heavy pre-crack pre-vote crackdown on the opposition, on independent media candidates, clearing the field so that only friendly voices could stand, really. But the Kremlin will view this as a success. Support before the election was at all-time lows for United Russia, and they've still been able to return a very strong majority in the parliament. Jake, although the opposition parties, as you mentioned, they either refused or were not allowed to stand in these elections, I mean, have their tactics, will they see it paid off or have they still not done as well as they might have hoped? Of course, they will claim victory. They will see that their tactical voting initiative, whereby they encourage candidates to vote for the best placed opposition candidate, even if you don't necessarily agree with their views, they're, of course, going to claim victory with this fall in the overall support for United Russia. But when we dig into the results, I don't really think you can see it as a victory. In 200 of the 225 seats where this strategy was in place, United Russia candidates are on track to win. So again, the Kremlin will really see it as a victory. Where where the support has been been lost is just overall across the board over the last three years, over the last four years, this general decline in living standards, this general mounting of repression. So it's very hard to, to at this stage, draw conclusions about how much these opposition tactics clearly had. Now, the opposition is going to face a really big test coming out of this election. It's, it itself is fighting for legitimacy with Alexei Navalny in jail, with most of the key senior opposition figures having already fled abroad. So they're going to need to claim success. They're going to need to point to the fact that this does work, because for them, this is part of their long term strategy to put pressure onto United Russia and to hopefully keep putting pressure on to Vladimir Putin as we come up to his re-election bid, which is in 2024, which is already looking quite close here in Moscow.